Hey, what's up, y'all? This is Rodney, and I'm back. And so I'm sitting here in the car, right? I got a few minutes before I have to get inside this building. Um, can y'all like, comment, and share this video, girl? You know, that's why I was going to start saying in my videos. I really, I probably done said that about five times since I've been on YouTube. I'm, I'm, I'm ready to quit my job. <laughs> I'm ready to quit my job. I need to get this money up. I need to get this subscriber count up. I need to get these viewers up, girl. I just need to get everything up. Get it's up and 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 it's up. And it's up. Yes, I'm trying to get up and stuck. Anyway, child, um, who was that? Um, so anyways, I'm sitting here, you know, girl, Jasmine Brand. According to, uh, according to the Jasmine Brand, she says that Wendy Williams hospitalized for psychi psychi psychiatric evaluation. evaluation. Psychiatric evaluation. You know, they just it just came out, but they said that she caught COVID. You know, at first they said that she, that was pushing her show back until like September something. And then they came back and said, we're going to push it back again to like October the 4th, something like that. Um, because they said she had caught the, caught the 19. And now it's this. According to, this is what the Jasmine brand said. According to multiple reports, Wendy Williams was taken to the hospital for a psychiatric evaluation. evaluation. That is said to have taken place prior to it being announced that the new season of her show will be delayed due to COVID issues. According to The Sun, a woman matching Wendy Williams' description was rushed to the hospital on Wednesday following a 911 call for someone in need of psychi psychiatric services at her New York City apartment building. The NYPD confirmed to The Sun cops were called at 8 a.m. to a swanky high rise to assist a 57-year-old female. Meanwhile, TMZ reports that she was voluntarily admitted to the NYC hospital Tuesday for a psych evaluation. They report that Wendy has struggled with mental health issues for some time, so this is not a big shock. Wendy does have COVID, uh, but she's asymptomatic. Is that how you say it? Asymptomatic? And doctors continue to monitor her uh, physical health as well. Girl... You know, for those who don't know, I love Wendy Williams. You know, I have been a fan of hers. Like, when her and Charlamagne were a duo, like, I remember, like, getting on Axe Jeeves. Hello, girl, y'all don't know nothing about it. Axe Jeeves is for the old hoes. <laughs> girl, I, rem I remember getting on Axe Jeeves, trying to look up stuff. Um, I, Like I said, I was here with Charlamagne and Wendy Williams were a duo. Um, You know, I kind of stopped watching her t a show a few years ago, not like I used to, like I, like the only time I really would tune into her show now is like, if something makes the headlines, then I'll probably go back and try to like watch the full clip just to get a clearer picture or, you know, see what's really, what see what really happened. Um, but you know, I know a lot of people when things happen to Wendy, a lot of people, some people are excited, right? Because they feel as though Wendy is messy, right? And so this is her get back. You know, I don't, I mean, I don't look at stuff like that. Like, I don't know. I, I know Wendy is messy, but girl, like, I, and I stand by, I stand by this. We all messy to a certain degree, right? Some messier, messier than others. Girl, like I always say, the shade room ain't got 20 million subscribers because y'all want to know what's going on with the world news. And if y'all going to see me, I mean, if y'all going to the shade room for all world news and girl, that's a problem in itself right there. Hello, <laughs> girl. Um, girl, we messy. We knows and we talk about people. I don't know, girl. I just hope that she gets better. You know, that man, girl, what was his name? Kelvin. That man did a number on Miss Wendy. You know what I'm saying? Um, we know he wore her out. And then when he had that baby with that horror, I can't even call her no horror because both of them hoes. And then with her mother passing away and nobody really knowing, and then her brother coming out. <laughs> Wendy been through some stuff, but Wendy to me gives me the type of, she gives me like, she's the type of person that no matter what, 
Like that's what I said. That 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 purple chair to Wendy means the world to her. So whatever I gotta do to make sure that this purple chair stays right here and I'm in and I'm sitting on it right, then girl, if I gotta go out there and push through, then girl, just think I'm gonna go out there and push through. My mama just died. I'm going out there. Baby, I just passed out in front of the world. Remember she passed out? Baby, I'm getting up and I'm going back out there. My husband just cheated on me. and Well, he been cheating on me. And, and had a baby. Baby, I'm going out there. You know, I think Wendy, you know, for a lot of us, when we go through things, girl, we still have to go to work. You know what I'm saying? Like, when our mamas die and daddies and brothers and sisters and cousins and loved ones and friends and families, when they die, girl, they give you two or three, th two or three bereavement days and baby, you back to work. But you know, when you are at a certain level, you know, sometimes, like if Wendy said, look, I need some time off, my mama just died, I'm sure they would say, okay, girl, this is Wendy Williams, girl, we're going to put some shows on repeat, and girl, she's going to go on to take the time off that she needs. But I think that just goes to show how much she loves, I think that just, just goes to show how much she loves that show. I don't think that her being messy has anything to do with the things that happened with her. At all. At all. My skin's starting to look a whole lot better in my opinion. Y'all think so? My biggest issue was drinking water. Girl, I just realized that I have not drunk water. Ooh, girl, I ain't even gonna tell y'all because y'all gonna judge me. I mean, the, does tonic water, does tonic count? No? Okay. <laughs> I get my life together, baby. Um, but yeah, shout out to Wendy Williams. Um, I hope she's okay. Um, you know, yeah. Wendy Williams just does not seem to have the best. Like, when you think about that documentary, like, I hate to be this person. Because I hate when people say that people are lonely. But Wendy Williams does give me that she's lonely. Like, it's a very sad, like... You know how, like, like you know how some people might be like, Oh, Rodney, you you lonely, you ain't got no man, blah, 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 blah. Like, I think that Wendy... I think that Wendy is one of those women that, like, she needs a man. She needs a partner. She needs companionship. She needs someone to lay down with her and I think that she's that type of person and the simple fact that she was with this man for what almost 30 years and girl now he ain't there and I feel like that's how Wendy Wendy Williams operates like a lot of women you know what I'm saying like I need a man I need a man and now this man ain't here. This man who you pretty much trusted with your entire life, your entire career, probably took God knows how much of your goddamn money, girl. You know what I'm saying? Now he ain't even there. He with another woman who he done got pregnant. Again. But this time she decided to have a baby from what the streets say, right? And then your mama die. And nobody knows. And then your messy ass brother come out, right? And that's how everybody find out. And now you got to deal with your messy ass brother and still probably processing the fact that your mother just passed away. And then it was rumors going around that like her son had stopped fucking with her and started, started talking to, you know, messing with the daddy. But I don't know how true that is. So you hear these rumors, you hear these things, and then, you know, you start to hear some of the truths that come out, and it's like, girl, Miss Think is going through it. But again, a good thing about being in the position where you are rich, you have access and resource, right? A lot of us, we ain't rich. So, girl, we gotta get we gotta keep kicking away at kick, right? We gotta keep going. Like I told y'all, like when my aunt passed away, <clears throat> you think my job cared? Is that the call? 
Um, you think my job gave a damn about <laughs> about when I told I told them people I needed just two bereavement days? Maybe I called in on a third day, baby. People had a write up for me on Wednesday, baby. Swear to God. Swear to God. Yeah, didn't come. So like I, you know, Wendy got the money. She got the resources. She, she has the access. Hopefully, baby, I don't know who that was. Hopefully, she can get the help that she needs and deserves, and hopefully, she'll be okay. But my hands are ashy, and that was just all in y'all face. All right, y'all. I'm going. We're gonna talk about something else in another video. Shout out to Wendy Williams. I hope that she's okay. Shout out to her family. I hope that you know they're doing the best that they can do. Um, all right, bye, y'all.